we back. And today we got D D D D D D G. Now the most hated, they saying he the most hated rapper on the internet, which I kind of, I can, I can kind of agree to a certain extent. The nigga's just corny as fuck. But you have to realize the nigga put his family on. So in order to get that money to put his family on, the nigga gotta be corny. He do gotta be corny. All them little TikToks, he gotta be corny. So you can't blame the nigga. He's he is an OG in this shit. So. Gotta get his flowers, bro. Real shit. So a little while ago, I was scrolling on Twitter and I seen this tweet from DDG. It said, "Ain't no nigga that came off the internet got as far as me in this music shit. I'm leading this shit. Fuck a tweet or a meme. The numbers speak for itself. I'm a pioneer." Now, no disrespect towards DDG because hey, he certainly hey, he could talk his shit. Like I said, he's really an OG in this shit. He's just a corny nigga. He paved the way for himself and other content creators trying to get into the music industry. But this tweet's just kind of crazy when you look at the long list of YouTubers who've also had successful music careers Queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. but this tweet caught my attention not just flight because reacts. of what it said not, but because we, of the are response we gonna it got justin ddg threatens to release new music ddg's music is trash for real ddg's music is so trash oh my god and it started to make me His think music not even that why does ddg get so much hate his because out of all the youtubers bad. that started doing music he's far from being the worst but you would never think that from the amount of hate that he gets from his peers and the internet Gun to the back of your head, name five DDG songs. See, this shit was out of, this, this shit was out of pocket. I ain't gonna hold you. This oh, shit was out of pocket. What's up, y'all? My name's Corn. Bruce, Bruce is on dick for real for that shit because I can name five DDG songs too. You got Hood Melodies. You got iCarly diss track. You got um um what's that song? Javinci. You know what's that song? Javinci. Yeah, I think that's called Javinci. No, no melody. Um. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, bro, he's really that nigga, bro. Or next fee, and today we're going to be diving into the musical career of DDG he and seeing just how he became one of the most hated that. rappers on the internet. But before we do that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the noted bell. Now, let's get into the video. Now, to understand that? where all the DDG hate comes from, we got to take it back to how he got into music in the first place. Because like I said before, DDG was originally a YouTuber, and on his channel, he would do things like vlogs, pranks, and just trendy YouTube content. But That's in 2017, was, hey, YouTube, this is the era when DDG was out there fucking posting like the rent was doing that motherfucker. It was, it was that TikTok slang that you saying what like the rent was doing. Hey, stop playing with me, bro. Hey, that TikTok slang. Hey, I be it be coming in handy sometimes because this is actually a definition of that shit, bro. That nigga used to look corn. He's like a cornball. You had a big trend you. going on that had the whole platform in a chokehold, and this trend was diss tracks. Some of the biggest YouTubers on the platform were hopping in the bro, studio and the recording music videos. Bro, this shit say 1080p. God damn. What the fuck? He was dissing each other for some of the dumbest reasons. And at the forefront of this were guys like Rice Gum, Jake Paul, and Rice, of course, bro. DDG. But where DDG would differ from his peers Rice is he would actually be shit. one of the first YouTubers to ever make a diss track on an actual rapper. See, in 2017, Lil- Why don't Rice Gum get the hate? Y'all remember Rice Gum? That nigga was the Asian rapper this and that, bro. I used to think Asian niggas couldn't rap, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Rice Gum couldn't rap. I think he had a ghostwriter, but he knew how to deliver that shit. Like, he knew how to deliver. Them bars wasn't his. Come on now. I know you Asian, but you ain't smart. Man, come on. Come on, bro. Them bars were not yours. And I think he admitted that shit, but why he don't get the hate? Yachty was one of the newest rising stars in the rap game. And after being on a hot streak of dropping songs like Peekaboo, Dirty Mouth, and Harley, he would release a remix to TK's The Race. Well, in the remix, he would drop the line, Shout out Diego Money, Mitch, and Lil J, SKT, DDG, that's always. And since SKT, DDG has DDG in it, DDG the YouTuber saw this as a perfect time to strike. Yachty had dropped like a, a remix to Take K the Race, right? He said DDG in it. I knew he wasn't talking about me. I knew for a fact he wasn't talking about me, but I made a video. I'm, I'm just so genius with the with the marketing and the strategy exactly, at this time. Bro. I'm like, okay, bet. I'ma act like Yachty just shouted me out everything. Made the video saying Yachty shouted me out, woo, woo So all my fans go telling Yachty, oh, thanks for shouting DDG out, woo, woo. Then Yachty tweet and he was like, I don't even know who the hell DDG is. So then I'm like, okay, bet. Then I'ma do a little diss track. Cause I was just dissing everybody. Like I was just doing it cause it was, it was hitting. He was getting hella views and shit, but. He's smart. This nigga's a genius. He's a marketing genius. I told you that. Didn't I tell y'all beginning when the video started? I said, DDG is not a bad artist. He's just a corny nigga. He's just a corny nigga. His genius in marketing, he knew in his mind, I mean, Yachty didn't diss him, 
but his corniness, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, let me come up, which I would too. I ain't gonna lie, I would do the same shit he did in that situation. You gotta give him his props for his dude, bro. You got to. You can't hate a nigga for being smart what he do. He's a good marketer. He was just, he was all just some YouTube shit. And this diss will go viral in not only the YouTube world, but also the hip hop world. With popular hip hop media platforms like DJ Ghost, like, DJ bro, Academics, and Hip Hop DX Comedy. I ain't gonna lie to you, DG. This cut was a jackass cut. If you had this cut, you was a straight jackass. I can't claim that cut, bro. The high top with the little, it's not even freeform dread, it's like. Puffy and Afro, man, that's a jackass cut. I ain't gonna lie to Thing you. on it. But even though this diss was getting DDG some attention in the music world, he still had no intentions of being a rapper. That was until the adpocalypse. Bro, why has DDG been buff his whole career, bro? Does this nigga even play any sports? This nigga DDG uh, been buff his whole career. Had like this nigga physique is godly. What people call it. And the money dropped like 80%. Mm. So I was making like, on average at the time, I was making like 50 or something like that. And then next month I made 8,000. I'm like, fuck no, my rent 5K. <laughs> so I'm like, shit, what else I want to do just in case this YouTube shit don't keep going? What else would I want to do? And the only thing- This nigga just said his rent is 5,000. Holy shit. Y'all rent 5,000? If y'all rent 5,000, boy. Where y'all niggas live? Y'all live in the sky? In them high ass penthouses? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. 5k for some rent? Shit. Damn, bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro. You gotta respect that shit, bro. This nigga been doing this. He been doing it. He's just a cornball. I'm gonna keep saying it. That I would wanna do other than YouTube is make music. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and take this shit real serious. So after deciding to dive into music, he hits up Famous Dexter. Dex and they collaborate on the song Lettuce. Then only a couple days later, World Star Hip Hop hits him up and asks if they could repost the song on their page. Song instantly takes off to 4 million views. Then DDG comes back only a couple months later with a World DDG, Star exclusive bro. upload for this a music prime. video called Javinci. And this would actually this be the hey, first song to turn him up in the music industry, putting more DDG eyes was. on him and exposing him to a real hip hop audience. After dropping Javinci, he was doing performances, he was on Genius, and it looked like he was actually capable of having a real music career. And around this time, there was only one thing holding DDG back, and ironically, it was his status as a YouTuber. See, over the years, the term YouTube rapper has oh, earned a bad man. stigma in the music. Bro, that Team 10 Jake Paul shit was a boy. Oh my God. I can't even. That was. YouTube was popping at the time, but Jake Paul was popping at the time too, bro. So it's like every time you got on YouTube, you had to see this nigga face, bro. You had to see him, bro world as many people view music as an art form rap is no different the reason artists like kanye or tyler the creator are respected in high regards is because they push the boundaries of what rap can be artistically but when people think of youtube rappers oh no oh yo get this nigga off my screen bro i can't tell you how many times i've seen this dude tiktok i'm not saying he's a bad rapper but get the fuck out of my face bro get out of my face I seen this dude 24 7. Every time I open the app, it's just his shitty ass move. Bro. <laughs> Isn't this nigga like 55? Bro, he pushing 40 or some shit. Words that come to mind are lazy, unoriginal, and corny. So oftentimes when people hear that somebody came from YouTube and they're a rapper, many rap fans tend to overlook their so music. Crazy. And DDG was no exception as people looked at him as a YouTuber making music so rather than an artist. Here we go. Sorry. We got one of the, the YouTube big dogs in the building right now. DDG, what's good? Yeah, man, I'm an artist though. Yeah? I'm an artist. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Well, you do. That's why I feel like he, DDG messed up in his career. This is where he messed up. He wanted to tell everyone so bad he wanted to be an artist instead of YouTube, but you shouldn't have said shit. You should have been quiet the whole time while you just doing what you doing, bro. And people would have eventually just been like, oh yeah, DG telling you shit. But once they see he got mad that people were co like comparing him to YouTube and shit, once people saw he was really taking that to a next level, that's when the bullying and harassing and the trash and the ads and YouTuber, you a YouTube rapper, that's when all that came, bro. You kept feeding on to the negativity, bro. You should have kept quiet, bro. That's personally what I would have did. That's what he fucked up in his career, bro. Both. I'm going to do both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love YouTube and everything, yep. but, you know, I'm trying to 
keep fed and let shit, people know i'm an artist right? but even with the stigma around his music ddg would actually see success as a rapper in 2017 his song arguments would go gold with over 61 million views on the music video and in 2020 his biggest song today moonwalking in calabasas would go two times platinum so it was safe to say he had a respectable music career so you're probably wondering if ddg is getting all this success in the music industry where does all this hate come from well it would actually be all his interactions online that would cause most of his problems the first case of this would be a short beef with popular streamer bruce drop him off see while on stream with another rapper named lucky a viewer asked lucky when he would hop on a song with ddg to which bruce responded by saying that he was gonna save lucky from that one now this was more than likely a joke and nothing really that serious but ddg would take to the internet to address bruce on stream lucky hop on ddg track no i'm gonna save you from that one my what it is, man? See, Bruce is out of pocket for that shit. That's why Bruce, bro, Bruce is be chatting sometimes, bro. You just gotta let that nigga chat. You really do. You, just, you can't feed into what Bruce be saying sometimes. Nigga just be chatting. He just be chatting just to chat, bro. That's what he do. He chat just to chat. He talk just to talk so his audience can feel like his voice. Like, that's all he do, bro. And I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not hating on Bruce or nothing. I'm just saying that's what the nigga do, bro. You gotta see through niggas. Niggas just be talking to talk. They ain't really making meaning or sense when they talk. They just talk. You feel me? Get it? You get it? You don't? You don't, bro. Move on with it, bro. What it is, man? What you mean? What you mean I'm going to save you from that? I ain't going to lie. I would have reacted the same way. It ain't no goddamn joke, nigga. It's not a joke. He probably said it's a joke after he seen his chat. Like, oh, nah, look, bro, look at him. Look. I felt the same like, that's disrespect, way. bro. Like joking don't be soft i'm not being soft i'm just addressing the situation i don't know him you know what i'm saying i don't know the nigga. like i i know his homies and shit, but i never talked to him before so it's like that's just that's the same shit annoying was on it's like hey, you hey, speak hey hey chill my nigga annoying my nigga annoying he's a real he's a real real gangster bro y'all better chill my nigga annoying that nigga will do it to your ass he'll make sure that chopper annoying too chill my nigga annoying no glazing shit don't fuck him, man that boy annoying stand on business. He, he, he stand on business. But nah, real shit though. I would have took it the same as that thing. Like, bro, you can't be like, oh, uh, do you want to do something? Blah, 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 blah. Nah, I'm going to save you for that one. He asked. That's pretty much what you're saying. You're basically saying, nah, don't hop on this shit. That dude's dog shit. Let me save you from that. That's pretty much what the nigga said. I would have took it the same way. That ain't no damn joke. How you joking about that when you in a room with a real artist like Lucky? Like, that's some real business artist you could he could have did some shit with. Like, you can't joke like that, bro. You can down on a nigga music or like trying to prevent a feature like mm -hmm. it's weird you never know but you know i'm just not gonna not talk about the shit what the fuck niggas be playing with yeah niggas be playing with me too much like like niggas ain't grow up watching me i ain't gonna lie dude. hey do y'all see y'all do y'all see dg as like a youtube rapper or a regular rapper or do y'all just see him as both or y'all just see him as you know like, like i said y'all just see him as both a youtuber who just raps me personally I see DDG as a YouTuber who has a skill in rapping that can rap. I feel him. I see he's a YouTuber that made it in YouTube, but he can, he can rap if he wants to. Like, if he wanted to go all rap, he could do it. That's what I look at DDG as. He just, when he mixes it up and complains when people compare him, that's when niggas is going to make sure you really be complaining. They're going to make sure all your comments are going to be that. Like, you can't feed into the shit, bro. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't save a lot of these niggas' childhoods, man. Did you know that yes, now you can did, use AI in Adobe AI. Express to make literally lie. any image or text you redesign? Did. You can make something out of this world like... And even though DDG might not have been wrong for feeling how he felt, this didn't come off as a good look. Because look man, we all know the number one rule when it comes to dealing with criticism. You never address it online. It never goes well. To viewers, it looked like DDG was just a guy that couldn't take criticism towards his music. And ironically, this sent a whole wave of criticism towards his music after Bruce dropped one of the funniest memes of the year. Gun to the back of your head, name five DDG songs. What the f***? What the f*** are y'all talking? What y'all talking about, bro? You're dying. You're literally dying. You're dead. On God, you're dead. The f Like, can we stop? And the thing is, that's not a bad thing. Feel me? That's not a bad thing. After this meme started going around, people started rushing to social media to say that they couldn't name five DDG songs. And what made it worse is that some media sites even came out calling him an E-list and failed rapper, <laughs> which you know. 
Elis is insane. But DDG would also be receiving hate from the underground rap scene, as many of the top rappers in that wave are friends with Bruce, with rappers like Can Can coming out saying that DDG's music is trash. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a, this is off topic off the video, but Ken Carson, bro, man, man, hit me up, my nigga. I'm gonna hit you up with some diet diet programs, fruit, vegetables. You gotta get off that drink, my nigga. I told you about four days ago. I watched one of your videos. You blew up. You blew up for real. And I'm not talking about the music. Yo, ass need to get in the gym, bro. But the next beef surrounding DDG will be the one to solidify the hate. One month ago, Soluminati, a creator who's widely been regarded as a YouTube legend, came back to YouTube with a video titled DDG Kaiser. Must Be Stopped. Doo -doo garbage. Your time has This come. shit, nah, this shit was worse. Your, your name, your new name is Doo Doo Garbage. This shit hit Make sure for hit. this point forward, y'all put two Doo Doo emojis and a garbage sign next to DDG name. Your new name is Doodoo Garbage. See, Bruce wasn't really like so, bro. So really like he like Bruce was like the icing. This is like the cherry on top. Like Doodoo Garbage is way more disrespectful than fucking Bruce said. Bruce is just kind of make like he was just, you know, kidding a little bit, exaggerating. This is for real. This nigga is so he was he was straight calling your shit ass. He was straight. That's when the world, that's when everybody was just like doo-doo garbage. Like yo shit, this shit hit it. Like real shit, bro. Your time has come. The highlight of doo-doo garbage career right now, because I told you, remember back in the day, remember when I told you? Bro, isn't this nigga you balls? You would never dude? be looked at as a rapper. I forgot, remember bro. Remember I told you no matter how many songs you drop? What is deep what is doo-doo garbage top five greatest hits? Nobody knows. I know. Javanshi diss track, I Carly diss track, those are two biggest arguments. Hood melody. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can only get four, bro. I don't know why. I can only get four, y'all. No matter what, four. no matter how much music you drop, no matter how many scripted bids, collabs you do, no matter what you do, you will always be looked at as doodle garbage who posts fake scripted vlogs. You're a YouTuber. I don't at watch your vlogs no more. I see you've been pushing this TikTok song. Now you trying to become Coolie Ray? You want to be in the TikTok shit now? DDG don't know what he want to do with his music career. He don't have a sound. He sound like everybody but himself. How many rappers watching this right now? And DDG scripted and directed your whole fake video. Whenever you see DDG on streams, whenever you see, wherever you see Doodoo -doo Garbage at, it's fake. It's scripted. Everything about him is fake. He got a point. I ain't gonna lie. I do be seeing little DDG stuff being fake and scripted just for the like views, but his audience, man, his audience is like, I'll say his older audience is like my age now. Like his older audience is like 19, 18, pushing 20. That's his older audience, like the OG audience. But his new gen audience, bro, they like, they TikTok niggas. They age from like 12 to 13, bro. Maybe 14. That's his TikTok audience. So he has to go for his TikTok audience. He had to script the shit for them because that's the money. That's where the money is at. His older niggas is the one like, bro, what the fuck, bro? What is you doing, bro? Like, we're at the old DDG. That's what my, that's the people who is watching, like me. Like, that's what we wondering. These new gen niggas don't know nothing about that. But listen, this is enough. That's all I got to say. You can't name five DDG songs. It's not possible. I can't. Can't, what is four, five of DDG's time. greatest hits? You can't name it. I'm on a whole nother level on Geeky. Now you making music. <laughs> I told you you make music for niggas who wear open toe sandals with no socks. Remember I told you that? Now you just saying, I'm Geeky. This is your bro, garbage that trash geek browser. Is and this is Opera GX. Day, <laughs> you, you see this difference? <laughs> Like, After the Soluminati vid, the wave of doo-doo garbage trolls just flooded in. And to DDG's credit, he actually had fun with it. I don't know who doing this, but I'm asking y'all, can y'all please stop? I give up. Every time I go on Spotify and type in doo-doo emojis, now my name pop up. Or if I go on there and I type in doo-doo, my name I'll pop up on thing. Spotify. I'll and then I go on my page and y'all them edited my song somehow some weird way i'm asking y'all can y'all please stop bro like it's just like little youtube beef it ain't even nothing real for real. internet beef is on youtube keep it on youtube as a fan you ain't gotta go the extra mile to like see this to nigga acting nigga like shit. bro y'all not seeing to see me real nigga senses i tap into my real nigga sister condonis i see right through this shit's promotion is marketing but the younger people they don't see this they be like oh he's really hurt he's really sad nah bro this nigga got paid for all them three days he was getting trashed on all them three days y'all calling him to do garbage he's getting paid 
it's not that deep. He's not gonna say, hey, ooh, he's not gonna hug you. You're never gonna meet him, he's never outside. Like you're doing this for no reason. You don't even ride this much for your mama. She's still in the hood. Your mama's still in the hood. She barely ate today. Go feed your mama. Get your family out the hood. Your but surprisingly, a little while after this, DDG will put up a tweet that said, YouTube or music? I can't do both no more. And only a couple days later, he will release bro, he a video it, called bro. My Last You. See, this is the script of shit we talking about, bro. How many times have he made a video saying this is my last YouTube video? I can't do both. Bro, he did that three years ago. He did that four years ago. He did that six years ago, bro. He do this every fucking time, bro. He do it every time. YouTube video, I deleted everything, where he said he would be quitting YouTube for good to focus on his music career. But you know, some people have a hard time believing this since he kind of already did this before in the past. But now it's time to get down to the real point of this video. Does DDG deserve all this hate? And honestly, not really. Like, I honestly think it just became cool at one point in time to hate on DDG because nobody really had a problem with him before the whole Bruce and Soul situation. And even the people who didn't like his music before, they just didn't like his music. And that was that. There was never like a wave of haters. To be honest, bro, I don't think DDG deserved the hate. I really don't. I think he did take care of a lot of people back in the day when he was doing his vlogging, popping and shit back in the day. Till we was younger. We was all like, Starting high school in middle school, like bro, we was young niggas, bro. We was just want find something to watch, and DG was just an entertaining nigga. He was, but now I just feel like he's more watered down, corny. He's not more raw, like he's not pushing it like he was pushing it back in the day. He's more like corny with the shit now. But yeah, I guess that's what happened when niggas when they get money, bro. You gotta start, you gotta start adapting to the system. You gotta start adapting to the kids and shit, bro. But me, y'all know me. I'm staying the same forever. Long live D, man.